Behind me is Media City, which is a symbol of Manchester's economic development. Manchester is a city in the north of England with a population of over half a million people. It is known for its culture, its musical exports, as well as its local football teams. Uh, the city has experienced tremendous growth as well as investment over the past two decades, which has transformed its skyline and also grown the local economy. And Manchester is the home to over 23,000 businesses, uh, as well as 85 of FTSE's 100 businesses pinpointing the city as a strategic place for them to do their business in the future. It has already been crowned as the fastest growing tech hub within Europe, uh, as well as having a track record of giving birth to tech unicorns such as Boo.com, AO, as well as OnTheBeach.com, just to name a few. The city presents great prospects for investment in property, hence you have local and international investors flocking to the city to get in on the capital gains as well as experience a good rental yield that is still being offered in a city like Manchester. Manchester was voted one of Britain's youngest cities with the average person who lives in Manchester being 33 years old and one quarter of the population being between the ages of 20 to 29. Statistically, young people are more likely to rent than own property and this has been the case for Manchester and it has experienced tremendous growth in rental demand. This has meant that those who are looking for buy to let properties in a city like Manchester are finding themselves with more people looking to rent their properties, uh, which has increased the demand as well as the prices in the properties themselves. The Manchester property cycle is quite advanced uh, and for you to still get that capital gains, you have to be much more sophisticated where you put your money. And within this video, I'm going to be exploring a few more facts and figures that can help you get a much more informed process of investing in a city like Manchester. But also, we're gonna look at a few deals so that you can actually also see what your money can get you in the city. The lowest house prices in Greater Manchester are found in the suburbs such as Wigan, Bolton and Rochdale, where properties are being sold for under 60,000. Uh, you can also find uh, properties of a similar nature as in other of the suburbs in and around Manchester. But remember, uh, the lowest prices is not always the best place to invest your money. So you have to be careful and do your due diligence to research the area and make sure that you're buying in an area that also presents uh, a good return on your investment as well as safety and security for the money that you're putting within that property. The area has experienced the highest growth in Manchester are notably the city center as well as Southwood where you have the media city which provides great access to most of the people who are working within the business hub. Uh, and there are a few other suburbs dotted around Manchester that are also experiencing the same level of growth, but the city centre in Southford will probably give you the greatest capital gains over the coming years uh, as you have so much demand from renters as well as buyers. Manchester property market growth. Data from HomeTrack House Price Index show that Manchester property prices are growing in value at a rate of 3.4% annually, thus greater than the UK case average which stands at 2.1% and significantly beats London's annual growth rate of 0.9%. Manchester's average house price increase in the last 10 years from 2010 to 2020 was 40% according to data from the house price index. That results in added value of around 51,000 onto the Manchester's average house price. The UK as a whole is experiencing a big gap between supply and demand when it comes to rental properties. And this is seen throughout the buy to let Manchester property market. The city has a high population of students and young professionals, creating a constant demand for rental properties and increasing the appeal of both residential and student property investments in Manchester. This has led to a 5.7% 
average rental price growth throughout the city, a rise which is more noticeable in city center with Barry, Southford, Bolton, Stockport, and Trufford following behind. So those are the facts and figures. So let's get into it and look at some deals in terms of what your money can actually buy you in a city like Manchester. Obviously, this depends on what kind of an investor you are. Uh, maybe you just want something easy that just means that you can just buy and get a return off. But maybe you are a person who likes a bit of a refurb project. So hopefully some of these projects will just give you a bit of a stare of uh, what you can get in the city uh, to meet your investment strategy. We are going to look at three deal sizes to give you a broad range of different investment options you can find in the city of Manchester. Uh, starting off, we are going to look at a property in Bellevue. Uh, this is a two bedroom terrace house. It has a large kitchen as well as uh, one bathroom and a yard at the back. The property is not in too bad of a condition. Uh, it does need some attention to it to be able to bring it back up to a high standard. Uh, as you can see from the deco that it already has, a tenant has just moved out. So a light uh, refurb job will be needed. But the biggest job is at the back of the property where you can see that there is a bit of damp which is coming through the kitchen walls as well as uh, the bedroom walls. All of this tends to come from uh, when there is a guttering issue and there is a water leakage in the gutter which then flows through the brickwork and causes damp to come through the walls. This can easily be rectified by replacing the gutters or cleaning them as well as pointing some of the brickwork that has any wall, uh, holes or gaps in them so that that way the ward the wall is watertight. Those type of uh, refurb uh, techniques uh, and issues can easily be resolved by getting quotation from a local tradesman who will be able to tell you how much uh, it will cost to do this. But all in all, this is under 100,000, 95,000 uh, plus offers will be accepted um, and it's a property that is at the lower end of the scale of the properties you can invest in Manchester. Deal number two, uh, it's a development site with planning permission for 15 apartments. This is in Presswich, which is a commuter town with a few minutes drive away from Manchester city centre. Uh, the plot has planning permission for nine uh, two-bed flats and six one-bed flats. So if you're looking for a project to get your hands dirty in and build something ground up, this provides a great opportunity. Uh, this will be auctioned um, and the guide price is 350000 Of course, it might go a bit higher than that. It's about then carrying out your development appraisal to see what is the maximum you can bid for a project of this nature. But demand is very high for two beds and one bed flats within this area, especially with the allowance that you can get into the city center with ease. Deal number three is a block of 10 self-contained apartments within the edge of the city center. This is an ideal investment for someone who is looking to cash flow from day one. Uh, the property has been recently been refurbished to a very high condition. It has fully fitted kitchens, private entrance, uh, double height ceilings and windows. Uh, it has wet rooms and bathrooms right across uh, all of the units which are finished to a very high standards. Rentals in the area are from 850 to 950 per calendar month. Uh, the block has nine two-bed apartments and one one-bedroom flat. Uh, this is a great opportunity right in the city center. Uh, and if you are a foreign investor or investor who doesn't live in the area, this is a great opportunity to invest uh, with ease without necessarily having to do a refurbishment. Uh, the property is going for two point one million and I'm sure there is room for negotiation with the vendors if you are interested in a plot uh, or development like this that is ready to go from day one. 
Okay, there you go. That's an overview of Manchester. Hopefully that has informed you a bit more about the city as an investment area. And if you're looking to invest in Manchester, remember, always do your own due diligence on whatever deal you get. Just because a city is experiencing great growth, it doesn't mean that every deal is worthwhile getting into. Do your numbers and make sure that you're buying at the right prices for you to actually get great returns on your investment. So remember to subscribe, follow, like and comment so that that way we can keep on bringing you this content on how you can invest within the north of England and make much more informed choices. I'll see you next time.